All right, what up, people? So this is a uh, tutorial I'm going to be building a VR chat world from start to finish using Unity Terrain on how I do it. I, I say tutorial, but it's more so just me doing my process, and you can and I'll, I'll try to like explain as much as possible. But like I said, the final version of my build, which you're actually probably seeing a picture of on screen right now, is going to be in the description below, so you can just download it and work off of it, and yeah so yeah first thing i always do is i go to the asset store and i download pro builder and pro builder if you don't know is a super easy pro builder is a super easy simple modeling software that um comes that allows you to model in unity so it's pretty simple you're not going to be able to do like intense things um like with like you would be able to do in Blender, but um, it's a pretty good base. Other thing I should notice is that I'm building this in Unity 2017.4.28, which is the, I mean, it's the current version that you, that VRChat is using, but um, they're probably going to be moving in 2018 within the next three weeks, so depending on when you're watching this. Um, if you were to download the package below, you'll want to probably update it to 2018, so just open it in 2018 easy peasy unless you don't know anything about unity then it's probably not easy peasy <laughs> all right after you have pro builder make sure you go and download pro grids this will allow you to snap your stuff and just be a lot cleaner lately i've been actually modeling on the grid so it's always it's definitely way better um, and I don't use this a lot, but I do suggest getting it is Polybrush. So just download it so that you have it. It's just another tool. Okay, so now that we're in the scene, we got all the tools downloaded and we're in the scene. Um, just a fair warning with ProGrids, there's some settings in there that make using it a little wonky sometimes. And honestly, I can't remember what those are, so try to match this to be what it what I have it to be I'm gonna change this to point one to begin um, actually I'm gonna change it to point five to begin and then um, I usually have their actual grid system off and I think my grids are my the unity grids off so just go to gizmo it's probably on for you by default um, and I think there's other tools with pro grids or yeah I don't know sometimes it's wonky sometimes pro grids is weird um, it works for me now, so I'm also gonna go to tools, get my uh, Pro Builder window out, which is over here, and I like to snap it right there. Okay, so just heads up, I have absolutely like no plan for uh, this. <laughs> I just opened Unity, and I figured I'd do this since I use Terrain now a little bit more than what I used to. Um, terrain sometimes is a little uncontrollable. Or at least it was for me at the beginning, but now that I know how to like mess with the settings, it's not so much. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna start with the terrain. So 3D object terrain, and by default it creates like a, a 500 by 500 square. Um, so here is the terrain settings. I'm gonna go to settings and I'm gonna change this to. Let's do something like 200 by 200 and let's just move it so that it's a bit more centered by the way when I move something um, I I hold down so if I have this on and right now ProGrid is off if I had it on it's gonna automatically snap for me and uh, if it's off the, the grid um, I can hit this button and it will snap to the grid. Um, but I usually keep it off, and if I hold Control and move it, it um, it snaps automatically. Or I'll snap with Control. So that's usually what I end up using. Um, okay, going back to terrain settings. Um, we just made it a bit smaller over here, terrain height. So right now, if you were to try to make a hill, the highest it can go is 600 meters, which is a lot. I'm going to do 
35 meters. And to give me more control, I'm going to change the resolution. I usually change it to around 100 and it automatically goes to like 129 or something. I should note right now, below if you just saw that uh, loading bar, basically what's happening, it's baking all my lights, which I don't have it. I have a directional light that's real time. Um, I don't want that to happen. I want when I'm ready to bake all the lights, when, I, when I'm ready to bake. So I'm just going to open up the lighting settings real quick, and I'm going to turn off auto-generate. And then when I'm ready, I'll go back to this to change all the settings and do everything. Okay, back to Unity settings. So yeah, I usually just take the height map resolution down to around 129. Um, and that's going to give me more control. And I change the height to 35 meters. So now, let me actually let me show you what happens when we keep it where it was at. Oops. So it's at 605.13. Okay, so if I were to try and make a hill this is what would happen <laughs> it like shoots up and I, I mean I can take the opacity down but it's super wonky and there's not a lot of control in my opinion and it gets weird and yeah you could like take this and smooth it out But that's a bit much for me, so and I don't want to do that. Um, so yeah, what I like to do is I like to take the height to 35 and my resolution to 129. And now if I go back to this, to me that's a that's a lot more controlled. So I'm actually gonna make this bigger too. Looks like you can handle it. Um, I don't really know what, like I said, I don't have a plan for this. I know I want it at night. Because all my worlds are at night and I like nighttime. I'm just going to show you a couple things real quick. What I do if I want to, like. So, like, okay. Right now, this, is, this terrain is at its low, lowest point and you can't really dig into it. Or what I do is if I want to like dig into a terrain, I will take um, I will take this to as high point as I possibly can, which is 35. So yeah, I'll, I'll make this as high as I possibly can, and then I'll go in here and I'll start to carve out like whatever like underground thing that I want. So that's just to let you know. And by the way, how I'm doing this, I'm in. This option, if I just click, it'll rise. If I hold shift, it'll shrink. So, um, I don't know what I'm going to do right now. So, let me just, like, paint something out. And hopefully it will look good. Okay, so I kind of painted something out. Um, sometimes when I'm doing this, it's kind of hard to get a good idea on scale. Like, this is a 300 by 300, like, meter plane, which is pretty big. So, I mean, your viewpoint is going to be something like this. Um, which is, I think it's pretty good. I, I kind of, like, built a circle around, um, the, the spawn area, which I'm going to have near the center. And then, uh, I built, like, mountains to border it out. Not because I don't know if I'm planning on putting anything out here, out here anywhere, but um, I figured if you spawn in the middle and you see like hills in the, like behind that are a little bit taller, it'll give it some good depth. So um, that's just kind of my idea for going with it. So um, as you saw, I used the brush size to control this, the size and the opacity is like how fast it comes up. Um, it's, um, it's not very smooth, so I'm just gonna go to this like, um, this little blurring thing and just gonna, oops, that's taking it down a bit too much. Take down the opacity. I'm just gonna like smooth everything out real quick. So now I am going to find a skybox that I think will make this place look cool. I'm gonna start organizing my assets down here. I always use, I usually I make a textures thing, which obviously what all my textures are gonna be, and I put, um, my skybox in there too, mainly because it is kind of a 
texture. Um, ooh. Yep, this is the one I like. Ooh, look how fancy. All right, I'm gonna go into my textures thing and find some cool nature textures to put in here. Um, one thing I will do though, let's go to game object, let's, or let's go to assets, import package, let's import the environment package from Unity. Actually, we might be able to use that, that might be better mainly because this stuff comes with Unity and it's free and that way I'm not like pulling anything that maybe I paid for it even though I have this one grass texture that I really like but maybe we won't worry about that all right let's check it out I'm just gonna I'm actually gonna make an assets folder just want to make this a bit cleaner all right so this is pretty important I always get issues with um, when I import the environment package. I don't know if it's still an issue, but I do this every time. I go into the standard assets folder that just came down from importing the um, environment package. I go into the editor and I just delete this folder because there's scripts in there that it's gonna fuck up. Um, it's gonna fuck up the VR chat SDK. What is this? I don't know what this is. I'm going to delete this folder too. Because it seems like there's just scripts in there that are going to screw everything up. Whoa, this is... Here's what happens. You'll tr These scripts kind of like conflict with the VR chat SDK. So you'll like try to upload your world and it won't work. and Or maybe it will work or you can't load into it and you don't know what's going on. And then you just try looking for help and nobody knows what to help you but the issue is, is you got compiler errors and you got these scripts that are screwing you up um, cross-platform get out of here I don't know what that means what is this dual touch control oh I see I'm just gonna delete that all I want is the environment hell yeah all right, let's let's uh, let's go back to the terrain. We need to get some grass on here. So this paintbrush tool is the tool to use to um, add some grass. And what we're going to do is we're going to do edit texture, add texture. This little window is going to pop up. You're going to press select. And let's go to grass. Now this, I have these options because um, this just got imported with the unity asset or the unity unity environment asset. if I had a normal map with this I'd add it but I don't so I'm just gonna put that in there whoa so now we've got this cool grass um, so let's go back to terrain let's let's edit this texture we're gonna make it a bit smaller does that make it bigger or smaller all right, it makes it smaller. That makes sense. If you make the number smaller, it gets smaller. Um, I'm going to do... What's 5 look like? So I don't want it to be, like, obvious. Oh, that looks good. I like that, actually. Um, now, if we want, we can also add... Let's go dirt. What kind of dirt do we have? All right, that works. Actually, let's let's find this. Oh, there's a ground that looks better. Yeah. Okay. So now that we've added this new texture, we can actually use the paintbrush tool to paint it on, and that's a bit much. So I'm gonna double click on that, and I'm gonna make it like five five. That's a bit better. Um. So yeah, that's how you paint. On textures the first one you do will go on the whole thing but you can like select these and paint over it and make it however the way you want so I'm going to not do that right now I'm going to add some trees let's see is there any default trees I think there are 
There are not, but that's okay. Let's make our own tree. Game object, 3D object, tree. Boom, look at that. That is a tree, obviously. Um, so over here is the tree editor. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add a cube. Where's my cube? I'm gonna add a cube. Let's put it on zero, zero, zero. Adding this cube to just give me scale. So like for context, I always use a cube for scale. I know people like bring in like the blue man or whatever. I know my avatar's head is gonna be like right here. And my avatar is like four foot seven. So I just, that's how I always build. I'm gonna use this cube. It'll give me an idea how tall this tree is. So let's click on this tree again and let's start editing this. So you can add more branches, you can add leaves. It's great. Um, uh, let's just mess with this. Cool. See, there's a lot you can do here. I'm gonna just try to make a normal tree. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with that. Let's add branches. Whoa. Look at all those branches. Doesn't this look like a tree? Whoa. Honestly, I haven't used this tool in a while, so I'm kind of just messing around. So this is like how long it can get versus how short it can get. That seems cool. Ooh. All right, there's a way to make it, ooh. World, okay. All right, if we go back here, I'm sure we can change the height of this. Yeah. So we're gonna make, this can be small and short. Um, do that. Let's make the lengths a little bit bigger. Um, I feel like these are spaced out a little too much. I wonder if we can change that. Hmm, I don't know. But what we can do is actually I'm gonna delete that. I wanna like add another one off of this. There we go. Now it's okay, cool. And now we can like do it twice. Whoa. Ha ha, I figured it out. It kind of gave the same settings I had with the other one, it looked like. Or maybe not, I don't know. Where's the Seek Sun? Oops, right here. Yeah, go up. Nice. All right, now let's add elite. No, 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 no. Let's add another branch. Let's add one to there too. All right, this one we'll do random because we want it all over the branch. Kind of do frequency like that. Where's the seek sun? I want them all kind of going up. 
Let's make them a little crunkly. Maybe that's up too much. That looks good. Let's go to this one. Um, do a little bit more. That looks good. Sneak sun just a little bit. Crinkling is up. Okay. Okay. So that's that's our tree. Let's add some leaves. Frequency that much. Let's add leaves to this. Frequency that much, do even more, because there's more branches on that one. Boom, okay, cool. Now we just have to texture it and make it look good. Let's look for some leaves. Oh, this is bark, tree. Is there no bark textures that came in with this? We're gonna go to textures, I'm gonna create a new folder in nature, and I'm gonna go find some nature textures and bring them in. So I've got that leave thing, and then we're gonna do this pine thing. And I'm going to just take all these, compress them so they're not large. And then we're going to create new materials, folder, bark. That is not what I want to do. Oh, I'm stupid. Create material, bark. Oh. Let's go to the nature speed tree. Why not? What does this do? Ooh. I can change the main color too if I wanted to be a little bit browner. I'm looking down here by the way. Yeah, that looks good. And then, oops, I'm gonna add this normal. Boom, okay, and now we're gonna make a new material for the um, leaves. Nature, tree creator leaves. Ooh, shininess. I don't know. Enable GPU instancing. If I want it like greener, I can do that. Wow. Okay. So let's go back to our tree. Let's go down to materials. Let's go to the main bark thing. Go to materials. We're gonna do this for the bark. Beautiful. All right, actually, let's go in here. Let's uh, bump this up a bunch. Neato. I don't know why the center part is not being seen very well. I don't know. Let's pretend like it will fix itself. All right, I'm gonna create a new folder. I'm back in my assets thing. Oops, oops, no, what did I do? If I bring this in here like that, that seems a bit better. Let's create folder, prefabs. And I'm gonna create another tree. Game object, 3D object, tree. Yeah, and this one's gonna be like a pine tree. I want like those like really tall pine trees too. Um, but I'll, I'll let the length be quite varied. Seek sun. Set that up like straight and we'll add some crinkly to it. Um, let's add another branch. Let's do a whole bunch, not random, not alternating, something like that. 
I'm going to do something like that. That pretty small. I feel like this is super boring at this point. <laughs> I'm just like trying to figure out this tree thing. All right. Um, uh, oops. This looks good to me. I'm going to add another thing. And we're gonna do, we're gonna make these super small. Make them even smaller. Yee, super small. Uh, I want to bring up the crinkliness on these. Ooh, you need to get like some real spooky trees with like. <laughs> okay. This actually looks good. I'm going to add leaves to that. I'm going to add leaves to that. Frequency, we're going to do a whole bunch. Oops. Whole bunch. Okay, and for the oops, mesh render material. Let's go back to our textures and let's go to nature. We're gonna kind of do the same thing, but I want a pine. I think I have a pine needle texture. By the way, if you can't find text or if you don't have textures, you can um. Uh, you can just Google, or I think textures.com is free. You can get textures from there. Or you can, like, take a picture of a leaf and then, like, put it on a transparent background. You can do that, too. Right, let's see what I have, though, in textures. Nature. Boom. This is weird. Hope. <laughs> I think that's what I use in the mansion. All right, let's see if this works. Oh, they 1.3 megabytes. I'm going to bring those down. And then I'm going to duplicate this. And I'm just going to change it to pine. And I'm going to put that there. Okay, cool. That looks good. That looks good. I'm going to put that there. Okay. Huh, does that look good? No. <laughs> All right, let's go back to this tree. Let's, uh, Oops, let's take it down to two. And then let's go to this one. Let's take it down to two. Now let's see what happens. Some of that looks a bit wonky, but I think it'll serve our purpose for right now. So I am going to go into my prefabs thing. I'm just going to bring it in. And I'm actually going to delete both of these. And it's okay because it saves the information here. But I have them as prefabs, which is important for our terrain. Hopefully this works. So, okay, I'm going to the tree thing. I'm going to go add tree. And um, let's go to tree one. Whoops, no. Yay. Add tree. I'm going to go... Tree one one add okay and now you can just like paint it on. 
Whoa. That's a bit much. Let's take the tree density down. Nice. So as you can see, there's like some occlusion on there automatically and things disappear pretty quickly. It's kind of making it hard to uh, put some trees down. So let's go ahead and fix that. That's in uh, the settings option. You're going to want to go to, um, let's see if I can remember where it's at. Oh, max mesh trees. So let's. Let's bring that up to, let's do 500, why not? Billboard start, let's bring that up to 500 too. Um, so now let's try to paint on some more trees. You should be able to see it. Yep, there we go. Let's bring the tree density up just a little bit. I don't want to do too many because these trees will end up being a lot on um, like rendering all of it will be a lot okay that looks kind of good though in addition to the trees to what, what usually what I think usually makes trees like right now like like I guess it looks kind of cool like trees and the night sky behind. Um, I like to take like grass or other small things and kind of spread it around. It, it kind of like gives it a little bit more, um, I don't know what you couldn't call, I guess detail to make it feel a bit better. So um, I know there with the Unity asset uh, environment thing. It comes with some grass, so let's just look that up again. Um, texture, that's what we want. You can also bring in um, like bushes the same way you did trees. I might try to get a bush in here somewhere. Give me a little bit though. Uh, this is what we want. So this is, this is like the flower. Um, paint tool, and this paints on just the same. So that's this. And there's certain tools in here, so like, actually if you go to settings, I think you can control wind speed and bending. I'm going to take that down quite a bit. Oops, nope, size is fine. I'll take bending down a bit. Um, so yeah, let's just go back here. I'm going to continue painting. Like I said, I don't want to put too much because people do have to like end up rendering it. I have found that like putting more around like the where the trees are seem to be make it much nicer. Um, is there an option for I'm trying to see? So you can see there's some occlusion on that as well. There's probably something here making that go away. Tree distance, billboard start. Oh, detail distance, okay. So I'm just gonna bump that up because I want you to see it. So let's go back to the flower options. Boom, boom. Being pretty modest here, just kind of placing it around wherever. Boom, 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 there's a lot right there. All right, look at that. I 
How tall is that? Oh, so <laughs> look how tall these gra this grass is. So I didn't notice this, but like I said, my avatar height is like right a little bit around here above this block. So we need to make that not so tall. Okay, how do you do that? That's a good question. That did not do anything. <laughs> Um, by the way, if you hold shift, you can get rid of these. But I, I need I need this to be way taller. Also, there's all these different options here. Which is cool. Edit details. Let's edit. Minimum height. This is good to know. Minimum height should not be one. It should be point one. No, we'll do point one five. <laughs> Max height I will do point six. Apply. That is much smaller than I thought it would be. Alright, let's go back to terrain. Let's edit these details again. We'll do minimum height point four. How about point five? Max one. Okay, it looks like the, that is not one meter. I don't know what the one is. Which means we can probably go a little bit higher. 1.5, minimum height, we can probably do 0. 0.7. Uh, actually, let's go back to let's do 0.5. Let's do 1.25. Why? There you go. I just don't want them to be like right in your face. Okay, cool. All right, one thing I should mention, I probably should mention this at the beginning. Um, there is a problem with VRChat and Unity Terrain. This actually might be getting fixed in 2018, but I don't actually know, so I'm just going to mention it. If you upload this, uh, the whole terrain would be like pitch black, and that is because there's an issue with the standard material that is used with terrain. And to fix that, I usually just go into custom and I will go to my textures I will go to nature I'm just gonna make a new one actually how do I do this I'm just gonna make a new one let's see what happens how do I usually do this <laughs> okay so now it's using this um, material information I guess to um, render the grass color so I'm just gonna go and make this a bit nicer let's do why not that looks great all right cool look maybe it doesn't look great <laughs> uh, nature terrain standard that's what it was using. I think that actually should work. I think that's what it normally do. I wonder if I go in here. Oh wait, no. I bet you if I go into terrain, go into grass, see like if I want the grass even darker. I think I already did this. No, I didn't. Um let's see if I can use something else actually. So let's go back to textures, nature. Um, diffuse. Okay, actually, I really like that. I like how dark that is. I'm also not on the light. Yeah, that looks good. Cool. That looks cool. I like that. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. So, we got some grass down. We got some trees. Let's try to get some bushes. Um. So, okay, if we go to terrain, we go to this flower thing. You can plant bushes the same way you did the grass, but if you notice, um, the grass, the grass is like, it's an image, and this is billboard, so right now they're all like looking at you no matter which way you turn, which looks great on desktop, but you'll notice that in, um, um, in, in the game way more noticeable so I'm gonna uncheck billboard so that it doesn't do that 
Um, in VR, you'll think, you know, in VR, you don't really want that. In desktop, it looks great. But um, as you can see, they're like images. So if you like paint down bushes with this, they'll look like images too. So if you can actually like make a tree bush, I think the exact same way. Um, so let's actually do that. Let's make a new tree. Game object, 3D object, um, tree. There it is. And obviously now we don't want this to be so big. We want it to be really small actually. We don't want the radius to be so big either. Let's make it really crinkly. And actually let's do two of, no. Yeah, two of these. Um area spread, we don't want it to be spread out that much. I'm gonna really bring up the crinkliness in that. We're gonna add more. Yeah, we're gonna do a lot. Look at this bush, it's gonna be so cool. Let's do, let's do world. How did that look? All right, world looks cool. We're gonna do that. Let's bring down the frequency. Come on. We're gonna add another one. Whoops, no, that's not what I wanted. We're gonna add another tree. This one will be random. Let's make it super small. really make them yeah it doesn't really do much when they're not that big So good. That's probably good, right? Let's add some leaves. Also, let's add some leaves to this. Can we make the size smaller? Alright, let's put some materials on this and see what it ends up looking like. Let's go to textures, nature. I'm actually going to duplicate this. And just to give, uh, here, let's rename it, bush leaves. Just to give it some like color in this world. Let's make it a different color. Um, it might be hard to color this because it's going to be clashing with, I like red. Maybe orange. This is gonna be clashing with that green color. That works. That works. 
So let's go back here. Let's go back down there. Let's do leaf. Let's do bark. Freaking golden. We're going to rename this bush. And we're going to go to our prefabs thing. We're going to bring this in. Now I'm going to delete that. Let's go back to our terrain. Let's go to tree. We're going to add tree. We're going to find our bush. Is that it? Is that the right bush? It is. We're going to add that. And now. We are gonna place this bush just kind of around. And you can get like as precise as you want with this. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Oops. I'm just gonna kind of place them around. Get a little lazy here. <laughs> and yeah, it's pretty cool. Look at that. Let's see if I want to get like specific anywhere. If I want to get anywhere specific somewhere. Let's go back to terrain. Let's bring this brush all the way down. Let's bring the tree density up. I'm still on my bush, so let's go. Oops, it's too big of a spread. I like the idea of it like bordering, bordering these this hill at spawn. Even like way in the back here. All right, cool. I think this is good enough for terrain, especially for a tutorial. I think you got the idea. Hopefully that all made sense. Now we're gonna start to build stuff. I'm just gonna start to organize this, even though there's not much there. I'm gonna call this terrain, and guess what? I'm gonna put my terrain in there. Um, I'm just gonna leave that there. I'm gonna create a new thing. Does, why is this that? <laughs> I'm gonna call this mm, skeleton collider, and this is where I'm gonna put all my pro builder objects. So I'm gonna start building some stuff in here. First, I'm gonna get the environment a little bit nice. I'm gonna create another empty. I'm gonna make sure it's not somewhere so unreasonable. Light, let's go take the directional light. Let's put it in there. And let's bring this up. Now, I want all my lights to be baked because we want this to be optimized. And I will keep that there. I'm gonna turn the indirect to zero. You don't have to, I like to. I'm gonna keep this on soft shadows. I'm going to turn this, I want this to be at night. So I'm going to turn it to like 0.4, maybe 0.6. That's good. That looks a little bit better to me. I like to put it in the sky because it's a sun, even though you won't see it. The first thing I want to model is like a lamp. So I'm just going to like Google a lamp and I'm going to try to, you won't see this because I'm not going to have it up on the screen, but um, I'm going to type in, actually I'm going to go to Pinterest. Pinterest. Okay, I like the, this one thing I see. Okay, I'm gonna build this lamp that you can't see, but I promise you it's great. All right, I'm going to change my snap to 0.1. I'm just gonna hold control as I bring this down. Oops, 
All right, one of the really annoying things with working with the terrain is that you accidentally hit it a bunch when you're trying to do other things not related to the terrain. All right, let's... So just to give you an idea, like I said, my avatar head is going to be like, the top of it's going to be like somewhere around there. So keeping that in mind when I model this. And this is just going to be like a really simple object. And I, like I said, I just looked something up. Let's center this pivot because I don't know where it's at. And I'm just kind of copying it. I know, actually I'll show you what I'm like making. I'm making this type thing. It's gonna be a little different, but. I'm not going to get too specific with it. Center pivot, come on. By the way, if you don't know how I got this, these objects, you can go to New Shape. It pulls up this window, and I can build like all these different things. We're gonna use that in a second because I gotta build an arch. Actually, we're gonna use it right now. So, so if I wanted a cube, I could just do that. Press Build Cube for an arc. I'm gonna do that. And there's all these tools I can use to manipulate it. I want it to be 90 degrees. I want it to be not that big at all. Definitely not that. Thick. Um, I want that to be about this. Sure, let's do 0.05. I think that'd be a better size. Oops. Um, six is fine for this. Uh, let's make this a bit smaller. Point six. Yeah, that seems good for our purpose. I'm just going to select all of these right here and I'm going to pull up smoothing. This is going to make it so when light hits it, it renders each of these faces together instead of separately. So that way it looks a bit smoother. Same thing on the other side. Um, so obviously I'm going to need like a, a wood texture and then um, some metal textures. Let's make a cylinder, 0.02. Let's bring that over here. This doesn't need to be eight, it can be six. I'm gonna make this like 0.3. Then I want this to be even smaller. That looks cool, I'm gonna build that.
I'm going to do, I'm going to need another cylinder. This is a bit big. It's point 0.1, how's that? And then height can be like point 0.2. Sort of eyeballing this right now. Mm -hmm. Let me go build. Um, I'm gonna press select face ring. Nope. I'm gonna press select face loop. Get all those. I'm just gonna bring that down. I'm going to bring this in. How can I do this? If I subdivide it. I subdivided that a lot. I'm going to delete that. And delete that. Nope. Fuck. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Alright, now we need one to go to this one. I kind of messed up on my thing, but okay. Now we're back. I'm just going to extrude this. Bring this up. Oops. Let's do this. Okay, I think this is good. There's a lot of unnecessary faces on this, but you know what? What are you gonna do? Alright, as you can see, you can see right through this, so sometimes when I model certain things, especially stuff like this, there's something you can you can kind of mess with it but first I'm gonna get rid of all these faces down here by selecting them all and pressing merge faces so while I do that I won't make you watch because doing this in pro builder is a bitch all right merge faces nice all right so when I do something like this especially in pro builder I kind of like to do one thing make it real easy. I'm going to duplicate it and then I'm going to flip the normals um, right here and now it's that same object just kind of like inside out. I'm going to take this I'm going to bring it to like right here I'm going to bring this up Nice. All right. And there you go. I'm going to take these two also, and I'm going to merge them together. Merge objects. Where are you? Merge objects. And now they are one single object. Yay. Okay. I'm thirsty. Okay. So to me, this looks a little small, so I'm just going to like scale it up a bit. 
That looks a bit better. And now we need a light bulb in there. What is the light? I can't really see it. I'm beginning to realize I don't know what the fuck a light bulb looks like. This <laughs> is this. How about that? There we go. <laughs> this works. I'm just going to kind of place it in there. Boom. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> let's let's get some textures for this stupid fucking thing. <laughs> um Okay, so what we need here is we need some metal textures and we're gonna I'm gonna go real simple with this. Um we're just gonna do metal. <laughs> and then um I, I do need to bring in some wood textures and then we're gonna create a light material so we'll do light and here we're gonna this is pretty simple we're gonna give it like an orangish warm color well, actually we can go like much warmer we're gonna make sure that that's baked we're gonna go here there we go um and then actually in here we're gonna bring this up so that way there's some nice spread with it let's bring that over there Boom. And that is going to be the light bulb. Ooh, look at that. This metal is going, we're just going to bring up the smoothness like a lot. We're going to keep it silver. Super simple. We're going to put it on that. We're going to put it on that. And put it on that. We're going to do another one that's like a much darker metal color. Oops. Nice. And let's um get some wood. Okay, so for the wood texture, I've got this um create a new folder, just keep it organized. Wood. I've got this nice wood plank texture I'm just gonna bring in by the way if you can't find textures like I said you can google it or you can go to the asset store and see what's in there I'm just gonna make these nice and compressed I'm just gonna throw that on there oh that looks nice um, by the way another important thing legacy shaders don't work in VR chat I don't know if that's gonna be fixed with 2018 but it doesn't work now um, so we're just gonna go to standard I'm gonna bring in my normal Actually, I think I got a height map for this too. No, no, I don't. Um, I'm gonna make this a bit darker. I want it to be browner. Boom. Actually, you know what? I'm looking at this. I feel like I don't even want this. The dark uh, metal will look good on here. Oh, and there's this on this side too. All right, let's go back to our wood. I'm going to bring down the smoothness. I'm going to put it on there. And I'm going to change the UVs on here. To make a bit more sense. And you can do that by going to the UV editor in Pro Builder. And then you can go here. Make sure you press this button so you can manipulate it. I'm just going to rotate this. To be like that. Um... I'm gonna rotate that to be like that, and I'm gonna rotate this to be like that. Now it looks pretty good. 
So there's my lamp. The last thing I gotta do with it, oops, I didn't mean to add that, but whatever. Um, the last thing I gotta do, I'm actually gonna take all these and I'm gonna duplicate it. And then I'm gonna merge all these together. Now they're one object. And I'm gonna take all these and I'm gonna disable all of that. And I'm gonna put this under Skeleton Collider. And this under Skeleton Collider. Actually, I'm gonna create a new empty lamp build. That way, if I need to go back to it, I can. Okay, but here we go. I'm going to create a light. Point light. Let's turn. Where's my point light? Come on. Oh. Hmm. All right, and I'm gonna I'm gonna use. Make sure you turn it to bake. I'm going to turn my indirect multiplier off because I don't want it on. Personal thing, you can do whatever you want. I'm going to I'm going to do soft shadows. Apparently soft shadows is better than real shadows. I don't know why. Actually, I'm going to do no shadows for this. Um and I'm going to do 3 yeah that looks good and now I'm gonna just move these together so where do I want spawn at I guess like right here actually let me like try to figure out what I want to do with spawn like maybe this will be spawn well get that out of the way right there I'm gonna I'm gonna bring in the VR chat SDK which I haven't done yet so okay I got the SDK in there I'm gonna go in there <coughs> prefabs world is spawn and I'm going to bring that right there and the blue the direction the blue is facing is the direction you actually end up seeing out of so that's there cool I'm gonna go ahead and add jump so I'm gonna do player mod and oops, come on. You can do it. <laughs> Make sure it's checked on, and then this will come up, and I'll do add mod, and we'll just keep the. Actually, we'll do mod. We'll do jump and speed mod. So we'll do jump at five. We'll do the run at six. Walk at four. Walk at four. Just to increase it just a little bit. We'll turn this to four actually. Just to, just to add a little bit more to it so it's a little bit faster. I'm actually beginning to think it's a bit bright out here. So I'm going to go to my directional light. I'm going to bring it down to like 0.3. Still feels bright. Let's do 0.1. There we go. I want like most everything to be lit by the lights in the world. Wait, where is that? That's right there. Okay. All right, here's the plan. I'm going to make like a little seating area with a fire pit and then like a balcony area above so let's do that I'm gonna change my scale and put it back to one I'm gonna bring this down and now we're gonna go back to one one two three four See how big this thing is. Oops. All right, and here I'm gonna hold shift and extrude it so that there's that cut in the middle. Every time I like curve uh, an object like that, it always ends up looking like a little weird. So I'm just gonna make this edge look a little bit weird to make the whole thing look a bit natural. All right, I'm gonna bring that over here. I'm actually gonna rotate it a bit. And 
Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Look at that, it looks cool. I'm gonna take this. Let's go back to point one. Um, I'm gonna bring this in a little bit. We'll make some stilts for this to um, to hold up the big area. And this, I'm, not, I'm just gonna use that wood texture that, that I made. Nope, I hit play, fuck. Move this over here. I need to be able to see. I'm just gonna put it like at the joints or just where I think it like looks good, which I think at like this turning point will look nice. You need it on the other side. These are just simple shapes. And you can really do whatever the hell you want. Where am I? Question is that tall enough? No. I'm gonna go higher. And then I'm gonna select whoops. Then I'm gonna select all of these and bring it up higher too. Boom. There we go. Alright, um, we'll do some, maybe some fancier under here. I don't know. Okay, so what I like to do when I do my build, I usually like to have a, I like to have two points of like access to most places. So I'm going to build some stairs. New stairs. Stair. And I'm not actually going to use these stairs, but I am going to use them for like context. All right, cool. Mm, and I'll show you what I mean by that in a little bit. All right, it's 14. <coughs> To, I'm losing my voice here. I'm gonna like build each thing out, each step individually, and then I'm gonna place them on. The stairs here.
and then I'll delete the stairs. Now, if you notice, if you do like go to my world and you look at my stairs, I normally don't build the like other part of it. And by other part of it, I mean like the side. I, I never like connect my stairs. I always think it's like, I don't, it's not a waste. It's just more time consuming, and I think it always looks good already with how they are to begin with. I don't know if I'm making any sense. I feel like I'm babbling. But yeah, look at that. I guess I'll build it here. I'm just gonna go. Make it super simple. And bam, we got some stairs. Cool. All right, I'm going to do the same thing I did with that one thing. So I'm going to do stairs. Stairs build. I'm going to do this. Oops. Duplicate, come on, you got it. There we go. Merge those together and then I will take this, put it under there, and I will uncheck this. Now I've got this one object here. Ooh, I'm gonna do it on both sides. I'm just eyeballing it. This is pretty bad, but it's fine, I swear. Whoa, look at that. Hell yeah. Now let's bring it all the way to the back. Oops. Boom, hell yeah. No, let's do the same thing over here. Now since we have this, I feel like we can play some of these around that make a bit more sense. Like I could put one right here. And I can actually, I can go this lamp build Let's actually go right here. You can do this, pull these two things out. Turn this back off. Now I can, well, I'm gonna merge these together, merge objects, come on. And I'm just gonna like hang these around. Oh my God, I need the light bulb too, God damn it.
Oh. No, don't do that. Boom. Copy. Move over. Get out of here. All of you. Go away. You three. Merge. Alright, now come over here. I'm just going to place a couple of these around. Alright, let's texture this. Textures, my wood. Come on. Okay, what do we got to do? Okay, so this is what I'm going to do to finish off this map. Um, for the most part, I just wanted to shove the terrain here, so for this, I'm going to try to go quickly. I'm going to put like a railing around here, some more lights. Um, maybe I'll put a table and like some flashlights. That might be good. And then, um, I want like I said, I want a fireplace. I actually have a prefab fireplace, so that way I don't have to make a new one. Okay, yeah, I had, um, I had made this. So what I'm going to do is also I also have an audio thing on here. I don't know. There's no audio clip. Oops. Let me go find some fire sounds. There's some fire. Let's bring that in here. Let's go back here. Let's take this, put it in here. And it's 3D. Yep, hopefully that's good. Whoops. All right, I'm going to just copy. We're going to go back to the other thing. Okay, um, and I'm going to hopefully it copied properly. Whoops. File, da, 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 da. paste. Nice. So yeah, so this fire is a simple particle system. Um, it's pretty simple. It's just a texture, and it's and it's been colored. Let's see here. So yeah, I mean, you can go in here and um, mess with the settings. I'm not going to go over particles, though, um, or audio. So now that we have that, let's build the wood for it. So we're going to go to new shape, cylinder. Let's do like 0.1. Let's do like 0.6. 0.7. Actually, let's do point like like point zero eight or seven. Let's do like point five. And I'm going to just use the same wood texture as I am everywhere else. Let's see if we can see this. Ooh, come on. I'm going to do face loop, and then we're going to go to the UV editor, and I'm going to do that, and I'm going to just rotate these, and I'm actually just going to put it like somewhere around here. Actually, I'll, I'll make it in like the darker area. There you go. Now it's going to look more like wood. Nice. Uh, so where do I want this fire is a question. Um, let's put it over here. Why? Because there's a bunch of grass over there, and I feel like over here makes sense. Let's see how that looks with the light. Yeah, that makes sense. Do 
do do do. I'm just going to place these in a way that makes sense to me. Let's turn this off so I can see a little bit. Oh, duh. Wow, look at this fire pit. So professional. Ooh, maybe we put like a couple in a couple places. Make the particles just a little bit smaller. Actually, where's my cube? How big is this? That's a golden size. So yeah, let's make the particles just a little bit smaller. Max particle size, let's do like 0.3. And how does this look? Looks pretty good. Yeah, okay. Well, actually, let's... No, we'll do that in a sec. I'm going to make a second area. We're going to put it over here. Nice. So there's audio with these fire, with the fire here. And we need to add a light. So let's go to our lights. Let's add a, let's turn that on. Let's add a light, point light. Where are you? Really far up in the sky. For, is that zero, zero, zero? That's a lie. No, it's not. Okay, so I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to make this baked. We're going to make this nice and orange. Um, and that looks good. So I'm going to duplicate that. I'm going to bring it over here. Nice. Oh, all, this, all these cylinders are like in the floor. Boom. Cool. Okay. So now let's work on this upstairs area. This is going to be pretty simple. We're going to make this like wood planks or like two by fours. If you're familiar with the mansion, it's how I did the um, this will be similar to how I did the the wood balcony thing on the dock so let's bring this over here boom do do do
Da, 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 da. Okay, cool. I got the whole thing done. Now I'm going to actually, uh, I'm gonna do what I've been doing, which is like creating those little categories. Um, railing, complete, uh, build. And I guess this is more so for people to download this. Um, That way you can like actually like change things if you want. Or at least it'll be way easier. I'm gonna put that in there. Open oh, here and I'm gonna turn it off. And then I have all of these guys, and I'm gonna merge these objects. Nice, I'm gonna delete that. And now I can put my thing on here. <laughs> oh no. Hope I miss some. It's fine. I just don't feel like changing all those UVs. Whatever. Let me merge these. Cool. Um, and then I'm going to duplicate this to put a thing under here. Wait, what? Come on. Bam! Yay! Ooh, what if I take this? And put it up here. Would that be cool? That looks cool. I dig it. Moon right there. Now we need chairs. Actually, no, I'm gonna just do like a log. That'll be easier. I know I'm getting lazy, I'm sorry. Boom. Cylinder. Doo -doo -doo -doo. This is gonna be like a point. Oh, that's too big. Yeah, yeah, no.
Do 12 sides to round it up a bit. This looks like a good log. Looks like a big ass log, it's 2.3. Pretty simple low, I'm gonna delete this. Simple low poly log. A. Actually, I'm so stupid. Face loop, UV editor. Doo -doo -doo. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna put that one right there, and I'm gonna duplicate it, and this one's gonna have to be like an angle a little bit. It's going like in the ground just a bit, and then I'm gonna do that. Let's see. Boom. All right, now I'm gonna build a table. So let's do a cube, show preview. Come on, whoops. Come over here. I'm gonna put a table up here. Let's build that. I'm gonna duplicate this. Ah! Let's make some table legs. At this point, I'm just kind of winging shit. <laughs> or I guess I've been winging things this entire time, but like, now it's like extreme. Okay. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Nice. All right, let's put some textures on all. The oh, come here. Come on. Come on now. Come on now. Let's make sure instant GPU instancing is on. That would be good. All right, let's turn that off. Whoa, now we got a table. Nice. What are we going to put on that table, you ask? That is a good question. I'm going to put a flashlight on there. So let's bring this over here. Ooh, let's just make this into a flashlight. This will work. Oops. Which one it's gonna be? Ring? 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 God damn it. And then we get a smoothing. Two. Ooh, nice. Okay, so we can actually use this metal thing for it. And then we can go in here. We can select all these faces. Yeah. For the light, and put the light on here. Boom. 
Now we can just scale it down because it doesn't need to be that big. <laughs> now we can just do it like that. Go boom, boom, boom. All right, let's figure out how I, if I remember how to do this. Okay, this is very important. All right, let me organize this because this is kind of a mess right now. Okay, what is this? Right, let's do skeleton collider. What is this? Okay, fair enough. Oops. Skeleton collider. Skeleton collider. Skeleton collider. Wait, what? Is that other one not touching either? It's not. Are these touching? They are. Bananas. Come on. Okay. What is this? Oh, what is this? 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 Alright, all of these are skeleton collider. What is this? It's a flashlight. I'm gonna rename this flashlight. What is this? Skeleton collider. Cool, let's create a new, let's call this particles. We can put the fires in there. Uh, we're gonna need an audio thing because I'm gonna put audio, like background audio, and then I'm gonna put terrain in terrain, and then I'm gonna do pickups. We're gonna put the flashlight there. All right, let's go to the flashlight, let's add a we're gonna get rid of the mesh collider. We're gonna add a box collider. Um, this will tell you like the game where the player can pick up and we're gonna put a VRC pickup on there and all this stuff should come up. Um, we're gonna say it is kinematic, which means when they let go of it, I'll stay where it is. Um, constraints, no, 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 no. I'm looking for the auto hold, yes. So desktop users don't have to like keep pressing the mouse button. Um okay with this we're going to add a real time spotlight. Um, let's you know, see how this actually works. Okay. It's going to be zero. Oh, it doesn't matter. Real time. Then we're going to do something like that. We're going to say range is 20. Actually, let's say it's 30. Um... Actually, we'll do like 45, and then we will do like three. Okay, uh, we will turn that off because we don't want. We only want. We only are gonna want that to turn on locally for whoever holds the flashlight. So now we got to put a trigger on here. VRC trigger. Advanced mode, uh, we're gonna do on pickup use down. I think that's what it is. Local, um, it's going to set, set game object active and it's going to set this spotlight game object active toggle. Okay, so if I remember correctly, um, when you pick up an object and you press that use, like that click, um, 
it should oops. it should turn on the thing and I'm going to duplicate this several times oh crap no 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 I'm missing one important thing object sync if you want other players to see that that person is holding that Let's do object sync, and you know what? Mine as well. Why not? We'll make it always unbuffered. Or we'll make it always buffer one. Okay, now let's duplicate it. So always buffer one basically means that when someone triggers it and someone new joins, if they you click it on and off, on and off, and on and off, um, that means um, when a new person joins, um, they will see whatever the last trigger of that object was. So if you clicked it on, they would see it. If they, you clicked it on, you clicked it off, you clicked it back on again, they would see it's on. All right. Let's save that. Now we're like almost done. The only thing you really got to do now is um, you got to bake lights in occlusion. Let's actually let's add the rest of our light stuff. We need light probes, and I'm gonna be kind of lazy with this, kind of not. Put some here, here, here. Oh my god, I almost forgot. Um, a mirror. We will add that. I'm going to put that over here. Last two, let's just duplicate them, bring them up here. Perfect. All right, now I'm going to get real lazy with it. Because there's a lot more to like cover. So if you don't know, light probes are basically what is used to like to save light information once you bake all the lights. If you don't have light probes, you're not going to be able to see avatars get lit or any major game or any movable game objects for that matter so that's just there to be like hey program save the light information in this area okay so before we keep going I'm going to add a mirror I'm going to add a mirror somewhere obvious I'm going to put two mirrors down. Let's create a new empty mirror. Let's do zero, zero, zero. Then we got to go to the VRC SDK, prefabs, world, world mirror. Nice. All right, come over here. Boop, 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 boop. Nice. Hey, when people load in, it's going to look like everyone's looking at them. This is just going to be like real simple.
So I'm gonna put one there. I'm gonna put one. Oh, actually, before I duplicate that, I'm gonna just optimize this. Don't want it um, showing everything. I'm, I'm I'm just gonna do the one mirrors. I'm not gonna put on um, an optimize. You know, the high quality and optimize. This is pretty optimizing itself, but I don't have my layer set up yet because I haven't tried to upload it. So to get your layer set up, you need to go to the VR Chat SDK after the thing is done loading. I don't know if you can tell, I'm like getting more and more tired. I started this at like 12, oh my God. <laughs> okay, go to show control panel. This thing's gonna come up, sign in. Okay, let's go to Builder, and it's like, hey, wait a minute, do it. Set collision rate, do it. All right, cool. Now if you go here, whoa, let's hit nothing. We're going to hit um, player, player local, mirror reflection. And that's all I'm going to do. And then I'm going to duplicate this mirror. I'm going to put it over here. Nice. All right, and now we need some buttons to make it a thing. So let's do, hmm, let's just do a sphere. Oh, <laughs> did not expect that to happen. Okay. All right. We're gonna scale this sphere down to like 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.5. All righty. And just so that people can see it, we're gonna make a new texture or a new material. Let's go new material, red. And guess what? I'm gonna make this a red color. Whoa. I'm gonna put it on there. Now on there, there's already a sphere collider. I'm going to add a trigger, a VRC trigger, advanced mode on, on interact, local, set game object active, and we're going to have to have another one because I want to make sure that that second mirror is off. So for the first one, the VRC mirror here, okay, wait, go back in here, VRC mirror, which is this one right here. We're gonna want that on toggles when you hit it, it goes on and off. But on this one, you wanna put the second mirror, make sure it's on false. So the first one's on toggle, second one on false. All right, let's duplicate this one and let's bring it over here. Let's bring it on this side. Seems to be more room. Right, I'm actually going to change this to say mirror. Alright, now you just got to like flip them. So like this is supposed to be the toggle and then this one's supposed to be the false. Easy peasy. And of course I want both of these to start off. Oh, also I'm going to go in here and I'm going to take off the box glider. And if I go back over here to this ball, I can change that make sure it says mirror. I'm going to save and saving takes a minute. And I'm going to all right, and then I'm going to add the VRC chair. So I'm going to go create empty. VRC chairs and and I always just put them all under one thing so prefabs world chair boom do, 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 do.
I'm just gonna try to match these to this little curve here. Um, this one's straight, so bring that over here. Do 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 do. Boom, okay, so now if you want, so now you got all your chairs, you wanna make sure that nobody can see these big white things. Um, just go in here, let's hold control and just start selecting all the chairs here. And then you can just go in here and turn off the mesh renderer. I forgot to select these two, mesh renderer. Now you can't see all your chairs, but the triggers are still there. Nice. All right, let's close that up. So we got our probes in there. We got our lights in there. I'm going to add a reflection probe. Now, with the reflection probe, I found out it's very important to, um, to, not, bleh, to not have that on for quest. So I'm going to add a... Another game object here just has a category. Like I use, so when I do quest stuff, I usually do NA quest. So I just know I just hit this and I hit it off. So when I do the quest upload, which we'll do later, um, that way I know um, uh, anything under here is not supposed to be uploaded with the quest version because certain things break quest. One of those things is reflection probes. So I'm going to need to add it, but then it will need to be disabled. So lights reflection probe oh i'm just gonna make this huge there's not really that many reflective things nice and then we are going to change this to custom and we are going to make that sound like that bake it and save Nice. It has been baked. And so what we like to do is I like to go to here. Let's go to Windows, Lighting. This is something that someone taught me how to do, which seems to work out pretty good. Lighting settings. Take this. Oh, let's do Environment and Reflections. Let's do Custom, Cube Map. This is the Cube Map we just baked. It can be found, and it'll create a folder for you, the same title as your Unity project. So this Unity project is called um, Tutorial Terrain. So there's a folder in here now called Tutorial Terrain. That's where all our baked information will go. So yeah. Um, so yeah, now let's do our light settings so we can bake lights and keep this thing super optimized and nice. Okay, so for environment and lighting, we're gonna. I, I usually go to color. You can go to gradient, but I usually do something like that. That, that. This will work for there. See if you change it, you can see how it changes your area and why people might like do, using a gradient instead. We will do that. Um, obviously, we want it baked. I'm gonna uncheck that because we don't want real time. Do that. Um, I usually keep my light maps at around 512. Um, I'm going to check ambient occlusion. And that's about it. I'm going to bake these lights. To bake lights, all you got to do is hit generate light map or generate lighting. Let me actually double check my mirror real quick. I feel like I'm fucking something up. Nope, okay. Generate lighting. All right, when that finishes, we will take a look at it and we will do the, um, we'll do the normal VR chat upload and then we'll do the quest upload.
Okay, lights are done baking. Cool. Wow. It looks almost the same. That's surprising. Uh, I gotta bake occlusion. So just, if the, you don't have the occlusion window up, just go window, occlusion, just somewhere in here. Um, I'm just gonna use the default settings here. I'm gonna bake. There's not really that much to occlude in here, except for the shit ton of terrain. And cool. Now we will upload, <laughs> finally. Build and publish. So now that the PC version is uploaded, um, let me show you what to do for quests. So there's not that many materials in here and the only real thing we gotta get rid of is this reflection probe. So all I'm gonna do is turn this off and the way you upload on quest is you need to go to the Android build of Unity. So right now we're on the PC build. We gotta go to Android, switch platform. This will take a second, let it load and do its thing. Um, actually that went a little faster than I thought. Probably there's not that much on here. Neato. Okay, so what I'm going to do is upload it again. And you just, now that we're, you can see up here now that we're on the Android. Uh, actually, I have my headset on, so I think it sounds different. But yeah, you can see that we're on the Android build right up here. So you can just go back in here, build and publish. And I'll just, when you update this one, I already turned off all the quest stuff that needs to get turned off. When you upload this one, it should automatically automatically go to the uh, quest version. So we'll go ahead and update that. So I just loaded in. This is not my home world. I don't know why you put me in here. I'm kind of mad. Um, so if you go to worlds, go down to mine, you should see the new world. And boom, there it is. Um, one thing to note, so you can see there's a P, it's PC and Quest available. I'll have to test the Quest to see if it actually works. It may not work, mainly because the terrain might be too big that I use, and there's a lot of, like, bushes and trees. And the draw call count's a little high. Um, I'm not really sure if those get batched properly with terrain. I don't really know how it works. So Quest may not work. We're not. I'm not going to test it in this video. I'll test it later. And if it does work, it'll be in the um, Unity package, but let's go. I did notice, I forgot one thing, and that was um, we forgot to add sound effects. So we'll do that last if everything else is good. So if I hit that, you can see me. And if I come over here, I should be able to hit this. Hey, I can hear the fire. I don't know if the, I have the audio in here being recorded, but you can hear it. Um, let's see. Um, these are on static, so I gotta fix that. There's all this stuff. So that's pretty much it. There's a couple things we gotta fix. Um, the flashlight being static, even though I'm pretty sure I changed it, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> flashlight being static, and let's add some audio, and I will test the quest later. But after we do that, that's gonna be it. I'm not gonna jump back in here. It's pretty easy fixes, this is pretty much it. So let's go back in there real quick. Okay, so I just made this. I took this from, I think, freesounds.org. An important thing to know about loopable audio, um, it must be a wave. Otherwise, like if you export an MP3 file, it'll add like these like breaks at the beginning and end and you won't get an actual like clean loop. So make sure you're using a wave file. And if you're editing it yourself, make sure you export using wave. I, I, I think ODF, I think that's the file format. I think that might work too. I'm not sure though, but I usually do wave. Um, put it on loop. I usually take the audio down. I'm gonna actually take it down to point four, and uh, that's it. That's the fixes. That's pretty much it. You know, I'll go in. I'll test the quest. There's a chance that it might not work. If it doesn't work, I'll put it in the description, um, so you know not to upload it for quests. But um, but yeah, that's the build. And 
appreciate you watching. I hope it wasn't too boring. <laughs> I feel like once I get into it, I get really quiet and then I just kind of do it. So I don't know how much I edited it out, but um, I hope it was helpful. If you have questions, you can message me here or you can join my Discord. It's it's pretty helpful. Good place to talk to me back and forth quickly is my Discord and you can get help for all these builds. Also, there's also other like resources in there. It's up to you. And um, so that's it. Peace out, people. Bye-bye.